but something about you just doesn't add up. Understandable, considering the differences between us. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvain himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvain simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Ravenrock is a small settlement. So it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri. Over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dhamma people's suffering. They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstein crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunmer settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Don't worry. Trust Gelgis. He's been with us for a long time. I can't believe I've been stuck here this long. 
If you're looking for passage to Var... You're out of luck. I work for Mogro. You got a problem? Talk to him. Welcome to Var... The mine's open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. How are you, Fate? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers again. Thirsty workers at the end of a day, and more coin than I can count. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. When a Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Since the Ashyam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard, and then murder Councilor Morvane when we weren't looking. He arrived alone. But spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? He underestimated the Redoran Gar. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Come back any time, my... Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of a fa... The Redoran Guard have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. Vaunters up on Frostmoon Crag might know more. Take a look. Safe travels, Outlander. I work for Mogro. You gotta... You talk to him. If there's anything at all I can do to help, please let me know. Where shall... If that is what you wish.
Excuse me. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. I presume the same thing you're doing, leaving an offering for the departed. Forgive my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't Dunma. Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. What do you mean? I thought I was clear. I'm simply honoring a fellow departed Dunma. Now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate a bit. Please, I don't wish to be disturbed while I'm meditating. Even now, I will shadow your steps. With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. I hope Geldus proved Telesu. Are you sure? So Geldus' plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real Covenants might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. If you have evidence that it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunma to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. The Ulin family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunma's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulin and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miriam. They arrived here ten years ago, and they have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. Just give them to me. They are quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. Be careful. The Severans have betrayed us. And they'll be well armed. With the Aspor taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. No matter if that is what you wish.
you find any evidence at then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. Go. I'm going to send two of the best Rerun guard we have to take them down. Want you to assist them any way you can. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Ash Fallow Citadel in the battle for a long time. Are you ready for it? Even now, I will shadow your steps. Someone there. I will throw huh? I knew it. Yes, Sarah.
harder to come for. Someone there. Yes, Zara. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's busier now. I am. Here you go. Any supplies? You know where to find them. We've well, got happened? our eyes on. Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it. Then. It's finally over. What of the Rerran Guard? I sent to assist you. Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvain will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Follow me, and I'll take you to the Councillor. Just remember who's in charge around here. You lost. Excuse me, Councillor Morvain. I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you... Step forward. What I you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor, and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Can't thank you enough for re uh, mines. The mines are open, and the ebony has begun to flow because of your discovery. You've succeeded my where I failed gratitude by ending the threat to Councillor Morvane's life. I shall not forget it. I've known the Councillor since we were both quite young. We rose the ranks in House Redoran together. When word arrived in Blacklight that the Counselor's father had passed, I was asked to sail to Raven Rock with him as his second. It meant passing on better opportunities at home, but I didn't want to leave his side. We fought quite a few battles together and saved each other's lives on more than one occasion. Our bond is our strength. We've always been at each other's side. And nothing will ever change that. I'm pleased I was mistaken about you, sir. You. You think you have it bad? Try walking for Bulwark at night. Citizen, 